Go. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Michael Smirosti. We're here in the Providence Kitchen. And I um, want to thank you, first of all, for ordering the um, Providence to go. Our first en voyage menu brings us to the south of France, specifically to the town of Marseille. And um, so today we're going to, I'm going to show you how to, to finish the uh, bouillabaisse. But I also want to just unbox everything with you. Um, so the instructions are here, very simply. Uh, put, it'll show you how to put together the bouillabaisse. But um, to enjoy with the bouillabaisse, first of all, we have beautiful fougas that our pastry chef made. A lovely salad niçoise made with um, Hawaiian uh, big eye tuna and uh, local greens and lovely eggs and all that sort of thing. Um, some macaroons to finish, lavender macaroons, of course, because we're in the south of France. And then here's the rouille for our bouillabaisse, our vinaigrette for the salad niçoise, the heart and soul of any good bouillabaisse, which is the broth itself. And then for dessert, our pastry chef Mac and Kathy have put together a beautiful cherry clafouti with Murray Farms cherries and a little bit of uh, whipped vanilla creme fraiche. And then along with that, we have just some garnish for the bouillabaisse, some extra virgin olive oil from right here in Southern California, and some fleur de sel. So let's get rid of this, and I'll show you how to quickly put together the bouillabaisse. So obviously, we're gonna, first of all, take off the plastic lid, set that aside, drizzle just a little bit of olive oil over the top of the thing. The natto is very fastidious, and so he taped the lid on this thing, which is, which is uh, vexing me right now. But anyway, we'll drizzle just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on there. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of this fleur de sel on top of everything. And the fleur de sel is also to finish the uh, salad niçoise. And then I'm gonna put this at a 350 degree oven just for three minutes. So all the fish is cooked. The monkfish, sorry, monkfish, local rockfish, um, local rock crab from here in Santa Barbara, Maine lobsters, mussels and clams, and then some saffron potatoes in the middle. And everything is already cooked. You just need to warm it a bit. So I'm going to pop this in a 350 degree oven, just for a couple of minutes. And then uh, the next step is you're just going to warm the bouillabaisse broth. There's quite a bit in there. So you don't need to put it all on the plate at first, but maybe you save a little bit and savor it with the croutons and the rui later, which is what my, my favorite thing to do. All right, so while we're waiting for the fish to warm up, I'm just gonna show you, just to take the vinaigrette that we've made, and just drizzle, drizzle a little bit all over the salad niçoise, just like that. The dressing is made with this, a little bit of vinegar, obviously some uh, Dijon mustard, olive oil, shallot and a little touch of garlic and then I would just finish it with a little pinch of fleur de sel and it's ready to go if you want you can transfer it to a bowl of course something pretty but you're good to go there and then lastly we'll show you how to finish the bouillabaisse so the bouillabaisse now all the fish is nice and hot so we just have to put the whole thing together Here's the rockfish, the monk, our little turned potatoes. Don't forget the lobster knuckle, that's important. All right, there we go. And then we've included a little bit of a, a little julienne of leek and carrot that you could just sort of drape around. Don't worry about getting this hot because it'll heat up just from the broth. And then some bronze fennel that we grow on the roof. Sorry, we didn't include tweezers in the to-go kit. And then we'll finish it off with a bouillabaisse broth. If I were you, I would pour this at the table in front of you guys, just like that. And then eat it with the croutons and the rouille. What I like to do is 
eat everything that's in the bowl, shellfish everything, leave the broth in there, and then take these, put them on the bottom, let them soak up all the broth, stir a little bit of the rui in, and then eat it at the end. It's one of my favorite dishes. I hope you enjoy it. And we hope to see you here in the restaurant sometime very soon. Thank you very much. So that's the whole spread. Um, again, I want to thank you for ordering uh, Providence to go. I just also want to mention that Klafuji, if you like, you can warm it in the oven just for a couple of minutes and then put the um, vanilla creme fraiche on afterwards. Um, it, it's delicious cold, maybe even better warm. Uh, anyway, enjoy and we hope to see you here at Providence very soon. Everybody be safe, be well. Thank you very much.